Hello and welcome back. So we have these items here and let's make them go somewhere when we click. So let's just match what this is here, schools, uh, students, classes, tests, statistics, and so on and so forth. So let's start with the profile. But before we do that, let's look at the responsive view of this. So click on responsive view and let's zoom in, uh, squeeze it and see what happens. Okay, so not cool at all. Our minimum width is 350. So I'll put it there, 350, right about there. You can, by the way, you can just type the number in here if you want. And now, I just want to give these guys a minimum width so they don't go beyond that minimum width. So let's see here. I think I'm better off putting uh, putting a class I can use to refer each one of these, which is card something like this. Let's see if it will influence things a little bit. Let me close this. Okay. Let's go back to responsive design view. And what I can do now is just say dot card and say minimum width is uh, let's say 150 pixels. Let's see how that does. Okay, that's cool. Let's try 250. Okay, that's good. That way it doesn't go beyond a specific uh, stage. And that's it. Okay, pretty good. So we are good in responsive view as well. Now let's click on profile and see what we get. So let's go down to where it says profile. And let's add a link here. So to add the link, we'll need to add the root, of course, and then slash profile. Now, we can't put a, um, a profile ID here because this depends on who is logged in. So I'll refresh this and click on profile. But then because we don't have a profile ID, it says that profile was not found. But we have to make it in such a way that if we don't provide a profile ID, then it automatically gets the profile of the logged in user. So remember that we can get anything from the logged in user by uh, the same way we did in the nav. We went and said get first name. So we can use this right here to get what we want. So I'm going to go to, um, first let's go to the profile uh, controller and see what it uses. Oh, so it gets an ID, but that ID is the user ID. Okay, great. Now right here, I want to know if this is empty, we should add something else. So we can do that right here. I just say ID is equal to uh, if we say ID, let's just say trim ID is equal to uh, empty. If it's empty, then what we do is we get from the oath like this. Instead of first name, we get user ID underscore ID like that put a full column and then if it's not empty we just add the same id like so this should solve our problem so if the thing is empty let's get from the currently uh, logged in user if not we use that now we have to make sure that we are logged in before we access this so this is why let's go to our home controller and copy this check for whether we are logged in. So profile, boom, there we go. 
So we need that. Okay, pretty cool. Let's see if that works. Boom. So it works. And let's try a different user. And it works. Okay, so dashboard profile. Dashboard. Good. Let's put the rest to bed. So home view. And let me copy this one right here. And this one. Let's change that to settings. And log out. Same thing. Log out. What else? Statistics. So we'll create all these pages later. Statistics. Tests. Classes. And what else? Stuff. Stuff is actually users. And the schools is schools. Goody. So refresh and let's click. Okay, it's working. Working. So why isn't students working? I didn't add anything, so there we go. Okay, cool. Students, yes. Mm -hmm. Classes, classes, tests. Okay, so statistics takes us back here because we don't have that controller and settings. We don't have that controller. So in the main controller, or not the main controller, the app.php, maybe we need to tell it when we don't find the controller. So here, when there's no, I think we'll leave that as it is. Uh, there's this part where we're checking to see if the controller exists. So this is the one right here. So if it does not exist, we could show something else here. So we're just going to say else, right? And then we can do something else here. So what can we do? If you want, you can just echo something and say, uh, Controller not found like this. Let's see how that works. Okay, so controller not found. If you want, you can create a, an actual view that uh, is part of the system, which will be displayed when a controller is not found. Instead of doing it like this, you can load a view instead. So let me close this and let's center it. That way you can decorate it if you want. Let's see that. Controller not found. Too big though. Let's try H3. Yeah. And then to avoid any more problems, you can just exit the control uh, the script right there. So we can say controller not found. Maybe H1 was okay. Controller not found. Boom. Boom. Okay. So schools, staff, students, classes, tests, controller not found. Okay, pretty cool. This in the nav should lead to the dashboard as well. So let me change that real quick in the nav where the school name is right here. So I can copy that like this and paste it here. So click 
There we go. Same as here. Alrighty then. Okay, so things are looking good. Let's try to log out and see if this works. There we go. Let's log in. Password. Very nice. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.